on, kid. We're not out of the woods yet. Na 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 na. We still control the universe. I want that long crawling arachnid prosecuted. On the roof. Hello, everyone, and uh, Andrew here. 2016 was a year, wasn't it? Uh, a lot of movies, good, bad, and different, came out this year. A lot of stuff happened. It was an up and down year, as far as a lot of things go. I'm only going to talk about movies here. You can check out a podcast and all that other stuff to talk about uh, other things that happened this year. Just a lot of stuff happened, but I mean, I was able to see a lot this year as far as movies went. It was a big year uh, as far as movies went. There were some really big blockbusters. There were some uh, films that came out later in the year that I, I was very interested in seeing. Some I've seen. Some movies I have not seen. So, for a warning, here's the list of movies that I did not see this year, but I am going to see. Now, this is just a year in review. There's going to be a top 10 video that's going to come out in a little bit. So, be warned for that because, you know, it, I'm gonna put some. Of, I'm gonna put some of these on there. So there are about five or six movies that I still am going to see before I do my top ten list, which will come out sometime in the next week. Yeah, in the next in the next week. So I'm gonna see these movies in the next week. Just letting you know. I still need to see Kubo and the Two Strings, Hell or High Water, Deep Water Horizon, Ten Cloverfield Lane, uh, The Nice Guys, and Moana. So, um, those are just movies. I know some of them came out really early in the year. But, um, those are movies I still have not seen. Um, but I will see those in the next week. And then they might show up in my best list. And that best, it'll be like a best slash worst list. Because there's not enough to make a worst list. But there's uh, definitely enough to make a best list from just my personal list, and then I'll talk about some of the really bad stuff, and some things I felt that were pretty indifferent in the year. I'll go down the list and talk about them. There's about like 30 movies I've seen this year, so that's it's probably, I think, a record for me, so that's pretty good. But uh, this is the list of movies I have not seen, and probably won't get a chance to see in the next week, at least, obviously, but um, I will probably talk about them, and reviews will be up. And reviews will be up if they're not already up for all the films I'm going to talk about. First off, I am I did not see Gods of Egypt. It's pretty self-explanatory. Apparently, it wasn't that good, so we'll we'll see. I didn't see Secret Life of Pets. The Red Turtle is an anime that came out that apparently was really really good. So definitely want to check that out if I have a chance to in the next bit. Um, uh, the Finest Hours I didn't didn't see that. Uh, Thirteen Hours I didn't see. Moonlight. Patriot's Day, Silence, La La Land, Edge of Seventeen, Sing Street, Passengers, and Assassin's Creed. Now, I know some of these are really, really great movies, and I know some of these are not. But I do want to definitely get a chance to see some of them, and even review them, and just kind of add on to this review library of mine, and uh, really just kind of talk about some of these movies, because some of these movies I heard are really, really awesome, and really, really not awesome. So we'll see. And I did see some really bad movies this year, too. Just to say, hey, Andrew only saw the good ones. A majority of them were good, and I thought they were good. But uh, let's talk about some of these a little more in-depth. Just going to break down this year. I think the first movie I saw was Hail Caesar. And you can go back and look at my review at that. I liked the movie. I did. I thought it was a pretty decent film. Coen Brothers, George Clooney. And I'm, I'm looking forward to any future team-ups with them and stuff. Any Coen Brothers stuff. Coen Brothers are neat. They're, they make some pretty interesting stuff. But I um, I liked the movie. didn't love it. I liked it. I've seen it a couple times after the fact. I saw it in theaters. And I liked it. I thought it was just a neat like homage to classic cinema. Uh, Deadpool, I think, was next. And that was... Come on, that was great. I mean, it was so funny and just refreshing to see that character again. But in a better way. So I was really, uh, I was really happy to see that. Uh, I saw Batman vs Superman. Now I did see the extended cut of Batman vs Superman as well, and uh, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed it theatrically, but I enjoyed it even more in the extended cut, which came out on the Blu-ray, which I have over over there. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed Batman vs Superman for what it was. It was a 
very good film. I really, I, I love Man of Steel. So going into Batman vs. Superman, I was really looking forward to it. Um, I was surprised by the theatrical cut. But the extended cut really brought it home for me, and that's why it's one of my favorite comic book movies of the year, really. it's it's I really enjoyed that story. I saw Captain America, Civil War, Zootopia, and Jungle Book, so, like, Civil War was great. You can see my review for it. Um, it was just a really good movie, a culmination of all these other films put together. And I think that's also a detriment to it, but it because it, it can't really stand on its own. Uh, unlike maybe a Doctor Strange could, which I saw later in the year as well. But, um, yeah, just, I, I liked Civil War. I really liked it. I have it on Blu-ray. But it's it's a really good film, and I really enjoyed it. But overall, I mean, it's it was a really awesome movie. It was Avengers 2.5, if you will. And it was, I think, a better Avengers movie than Avengers Age of Ultron was. So, um, and then Zoot Zootopia is one of those really smart movies, and I'm going to get a chance to review that really soon. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, Zootopia is fantastic. It's a fantastic film. Um, it's great. Uh, and again, I'll go more into depth in some of these later. Jungle Book, again, really awesome. I mean, the fact that that movie is like 90% CGI is incredible. Um, fantastic Beasts, I did not make a review for, but I really, really enjoyed it. The music, oh my goodness, the music for this movie is incredible. Um, James Newton Howard, I mean, I really enjoyed the story too, and I can't wait to see where they go further with this stuff. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse was sort of disappointing for me. I'll get more into detail later. I just didn't love it. Honestly, I just didn't, I didn't love it. Uh, Finding Dory. I saw that very recently. I really enjoyed that. Like, I thought going into that, it was surprising for me. I really enjoyed it because it wasn't just a retread of Finding Nemo, but with Dory. Like, it was, she's after, she had to find her parents and everything. I really liked that. I thought that was something that was really well done. Um... And I liked all the new characters, too, uh, voiced by, like, Ty Burrell and Ed O'Neill, even Idris Elba. Idris Elba was in, like, so much this year, and it was great. Uh, I really enjoyed Zootopia, I, well, Zootopia and Jungle Book, and, um, what was I talking about? Finding Dory, as well. Um, all things Idris Elba is in, by the way, and he did a great job. Uh, he was also in Star Trek Beyond. I really enjoyed that movie, too. I just got it on Blu-ray for Christmas, actually. But uh, I really liked that movie. It, it was good. It was a nice continuation of the Star Trek films. Uh, it was well. It was. It was. It tied into the other films really well, and it tied into obviously current events with the passing of Leonard Nimoy and Anton Yelchin. And um, yeah, they 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 did that really well. It was very well done the way that was. Suicide Squad was also disappointing for me. I just think it's it, it's not a good movie, even though I gave it a slightly okay review. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't really like it. Um, it just, it lacked a lot of character. It lacked a lot of focus. It just lacked a lot of anything. Um, there have been these like pictures going around on Instagram and stuff, and it's like, okay, it's like uh, you're doing your homework. You give your homework to somebody else, and it's like, okay, take that, change it in a, around enough to make it look like it's yours, but it's still basically the same thing. Um, and everybody's, come on, everybody's done that. But, um, and, and like they showed one, and it was Guardians of the Galaxy as the original. In Suicide Squad, it's the copy. So it's just, there you go. It, it's kind of what it was. I, I really was disappointed with that. Warcraft. So I just got that on Blu-ray for my birthday. Well, I got that for Christmas. Got Star Trek Beyond for my birthday. I really liked Warcraft. I, I don't know what the big fuss is about. Look, it's not, it's not a great movie. It's not a great movie at all. But what it is, is a good start for a video game movie franchise. And I enjoyed what it was. Uh, is it a great movie? No. But it's a lot of fun. And I I really enjoyed it. Uh, for what it was. It was it was just a lot of fun. What I really liked about it was the characters and stuff. And you go check my review. I saw it in IMAX. Come on. Like, it was a really cool way to see the movie. And in 3D, it was really neat. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm trying to get some of my friends to watch it and everything. But it's just a fun movie. It, it has some really good moments in it. And the magic. The magic is done really well. Magic is something that was done really well this year in a couple of films. Doctor Strange, I had mentioned. I love Doctor Strange. Um, I think I did a review for it. Yeah, I did. I did a review for it. I really liked it. That was a good movie. Um, what else can I say? Go, go check out my reviews for some of these. Rogue One. Definitely check out my review for it. It's one of like the last videos I put up. What can I say? It's like one of my favorite movies of the year. And I just saw it again the other day. 
with my sister, loved it even more. Any issues I really had with it are kind of gone. Um, there's some minor ones. I love the music now. The score is fantastic. Uh, Michael Giacchino does a really good job with that. I just like the way it felt. Uh, and the, again, the ending was incredible. Um, Arrival. Did not do a review for Arrival, and I'm going to. I'm going to do like a nice in-depth kind of spoilery and non-spoiler review of Arrival. Because I feel like it, it warrants that. I mean, what can I say? It, that might be my number one favorite movie of the year because of what it said about people. And it's, I think, the perfect movie for us as people right now and how it um, it just goes and it does stuff and it says things about the human race. And it's great. I love movies that, that, that give us that deep, that deep kind of, you know, there's deep cuts and everything. And it's just like, yeah, that, yeah, it's right. Um... Magnificent Seven. I don't remember if I did a review for this or not. I don't think I did. I don't, again, a lot of these are going to get reviews very soon. But um, Magnificent Seven was a lot of fun. It was a good western. I enjoyed it. Some, it was a little slow in the middle, but it was it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. There were a lot of like Suicide Squad, Magnificent Seven, Dirty Dozen type like we have to get a group together and do this type movies that came out this year. And there are some that did it really well and some that didn't do it as well. So you know we'll. We'll see. I really liked Sully. Sully, I, I watched that a few weeks ago. Good movie. Um, Clint Eastwood and Tom Hanks. That, come on. That was great. It was a really good film. I really enjoyed that. Ghostbusters. Oh boy. I did not talk about this. I didn't make a review on this. <sighs> ouch. Just ouch. That, <sighs> that was not fun to watch. The Accountant. The Accountant was a really good film. I really liked that movie. Ben Affleck, uh, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simmons. I really liked that movie. It was really good. Um, it's like a James Bond type thing, but not really, with uh, Ben Affleck who has like a, uh, like autism and everything. And he does a great job with it and everything. I really enjoyed that film. I don't know if it's in my top 10, but it's definitely like my top 15 of the year. I really, really enjoyed it. Nocturnal animals will make you cry. It is it, it hurts to watch, but it's really good, and I really enjoyed it. Um, Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal are incredible in this movie. I, I I cannot believe just how good they are in this film. It is it's incredible. There's a couple of Oscar nominated moments in the actors in this movie, obviously. Um, Everybody was really good in it. Aaron Taylor Johnson, I didn't even realize it was him until I was like, oh my goodness, that's Aaron Taylor Johnson. Like, that that's him. And I'm like, whoa, dude, like, next level stuff. I uh, haven't seen Moana yet. I will see that very soon. Uh, I haven't seen Kubo, Hell or High Water, or uh, Deepwater Horizon. Swiss Army Man. That's a weird movie. <laughs> Swiss Army Man, like, it has one of the best soundtracks of the year, definitely. And it's just got one of those really cool, like, it's just a cool, like, buddy comedy almost. It says something, but I don't think it sticks to the landing very well at the end. Um, it's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. It's a good movie. Um, and it's very well shot and very well done. Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano are fantastic. And I really enjoyed it. Don't know if it's in my top ten. It's up there. I really enjoyed it. But I just don't think it quite stuck the landing and the meaning at the end. But in, in the, I mean, it, it did a really good job and it's a really well put together film. Um, this, these next two are the last two that I saw. One is The Killing Joke. Now, this did get a theatrical run, um, for like a day or whatever. It, The Killing Joke was the animated version of the graphic novel The Killing Joke, which is a Batman and Joker, obviously, um, graphic novel. It's not that good. It's not that good. And, um, unfortunately, it's just not that good. Um. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of the Killing Joke graphic novel and everything, but um, I just, I don't know what they did with this thing. Like, they added a whole Batgirl thing in there that just didn't work. Batman and Batgirl had a relationship that's just like, where did that come from? And then in the end, I just don't think it quite stuck the landing again. Like, it just, it didn't look great. The animation wasn't like, very well done, in my opinion. Um, and I think it was just like, oh, we have to make this rated R. Okay, say a few F words. Throw in some language. It wasn't much. 
And I, 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 I honestly, I'm just kind of like, and I really, on the notes, I wrote just, I literally just wrote, why? I didn't like it. I didn't really like it. And it's not that good, unfortunately. Uh, and the last one was Sausage Party. Sausage Party, like Deadpool, were like the two, like, funny R-rated movies that I, I got to see this year. And boy, oh boy, were they, were they funny. Um, Sausage, so, uh, Sausage Party is really funny. And it does a really good job um, of being a funny, just animated comedy. And at the end, it's ridiculous. It, it Endings of movies this year were either really good or really bad. Um, and if they were really good, they were just, like, surprisingly really good. Like, just funny. Flat out funny. And I really enjoyed... I, I did. I enjoyed Sausage Party. It's not a highly rated movie of mine. I enjoyed it. Um... But it was funny, and it was just, it was just, it was, you know, Seth Rogen and his buddies making a movie. And I enjoyed it. It was, it was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, that's my year in review, if that, you know. Uh, there's, again, a couple of movies I haven't seen yet, but I'm really looking forward to watching them. Um, there's a number of movies I'm just not going to get to reviewing until 2017, obviously. But, you know, I won't get to reviewing them in time for my top ten list. Um, and I'll talk about that, and I might be like, hey, in that top ten list, I might have uh, moved this around and stuff, or say, oh, this is the worst. But, yeah, definitely. Um, by by the time the Oscars get here, I'll probably have seen all those films, and then I'll have a real opinion on it, and I'll do my whole Oscar spiel like I did last year. But basically, this is just the year in review video, and, I mean, I really enjoyed this year. The comic book movies were fine. Um, they were really well. The Star Wars film was really well done. The Harry Potter film was really well done. Um, the, it, there were some hits and misses, definitely. Some of the remakes, obviously, like a Ben-Hur, which I heard was not good, and I do not want to see it because the original is... The 1959 version is classic. Why would you ever remake that? But, um, yeah, like, definitely, this this is one of those ones... This is one of those years where I was just like, wow, I got to see a lot of movies, and I'm really happy. I got to see a lot of movies. Got to see a lot of movies with friends. Got to see a lot of movies with family and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was just a really great year. I saw, like, 30 movies. I'll end up seeing, like, 30 movies from this year by the end. So I think it was, like, 25 or something that I listed off. But, yeah, there was just a bunch of them that I got to see, and I was really happy with it. And I cannot wait to show you my anticipated list for next year. That'll be out in yeah, a bit. But um, I got to make a list for it um, because I write everything down in, like, a notebook like this. So, yeah, I just, uh, I'll make that anticipated list soon. And I'll put up all that. And there's some other videos that are coming. I've just been really busy with a lot of stuff. And usually, the, the thing is, usually it's school. Because uh, right now I'm home on break. But, you know, it's, um, you know, at school and everything. Well, there's there's other people when I'm there. There's uh, school work that I have to do and everything. So, yeah. And, um, and usually I'm pretty busy. But I think this semester I won't be nearly as busy. So we will we will see. Uh, there's definitely a lot of movies I want to review that are coming out very soon. Um, and that I'll get to review some movies that came out recently. Review those, best and worst, all that stuff. So yes, I'm Andrew the College Critic. Have a I hope you guys had a, had a wonderful 2016. I know it was kind of it was kind of rough on all of us as far as uh, some uh, celebrities uh, passing when uh, as far as you know Alan Rickman and like Carrie Fisher and uh, Debbie Reynolds and all them, and uh, it was, the last the last week kind of kind of hit me, at least as a huge Star Wars fan, and, and Debbie Reynolds fan too, um, Singing in the Rain, How the West Was Won, stuff like that, she's she's fantastic, and um, a lot of those people will be dearly, dearly missed. Um, it was a sad year, but a good year as far as films go, there were some really, some nice gems there, some things that spoke to me, at least, some things that spoke to, I think, or that could speak to a larger group of people, in the end, so I'm really, uh, I'm really happy about the way that this year of movies went. I'm really looking forward to next year as far as some of the big blockbusters go. And then, as as always, you know, we got some of those Oscar movies that kind of just like, you know, they find their way in there, and it's like, whoa! I did not expect that to be so good. Um, but yeah, like there there are movies that came out last year that were like that. There are movies that came out here in 2016 that were like this, and there's even going to be movies that come out next year like that. So. Keep your eye out. I'll try and review as many movies as I can. Uh, some movies that have come out way in the past and all the way up to now. And uh, that's what I'm going to try and do. 
So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this year. I hope you all had a great 2016 and a happy new year into 2017. I am Andrew the College Critic, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.